farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, I picked you guys up a very beautiful specimen. Um, I asked you guys what coral would you guys like to see, and I ended up finding the one you wanted. Um, I ended up getting uh, the purple uh, garnia. It's a beautiful looking coral. Its body's look really nice purple. It actually looks like a candle holder, and it has really nice little brown polyps on it that come out to feed. And with this coral as well, I end up getting the, the photosynthetic kind. Um, it lives off the light, creates a sugar that goes into its skin, and that's how this one survives. Um, this one here likes likes the light and it likes moderate flow. Care level on this one is it's pretty easy. Anybody can usually pretty much do it. Um, this day and age, a lot of them you get them as frags. They're already glued the plugs. And it's a lot easier this way than you're trying to you know frag glue it yourself in your tank. And they encrust over pretty well and pretty fast. So that's one great pointer with these ones. So I have it here. It's been in the it's been in my tank about an hour and a half and acclimating. When you're acclimating, make sure you put some of your tank water in there. You want to make sure you get your salinity the same and your temperature so we don't shock this coral. And before we do any of all that after, we have to take this coral down to the lab and we're going to have to coral dip it and make sure we have no pests going into our display tank. It's not great. You want to make sure there's no flatworms, pyramid snails, aptasia, you know, anything that you don't want in your tank that shouldn't be in there that's going to eradicate. Make sure and keep it out. So let's take this coral down to the lab. We're going to use some reef primer on it and see if we get any pests come off. All right, farm hands. So I just made it down to my lab. I have our uh, I have our specimen right here. I got the purple uh, gorgonia. It's about eight inches, as you guys can see. It's a beautiful specimen. So before we end up gonna put this in our display tank, we always got a coral dip, and the coral dip of my choice today is gonna be the reef primer by uh, Poly Labs. You guys can check that out. It's a one-shot system. What you're gonna need to do before you get started, you're gonna need five liters of some uh, your aquarium water. Got in my famous white bucket and you're gonna need your one shot of uh, reef primer. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open your seal, you're gonna take the, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna drop it right into the white bucket, drop it all in. And then, as soon as you get that all in there, you're gonna mix it all up, you gotta ag agitate, the, agitate the water, mix it all up till it's all well, it's all dissolved. So after you have it all mixed up, we gotta take our specimen coral and get it into the dip. So let's get it into the dip. All right, so we got the purple agornia into the dip. We have to wait five minutes, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the, the reef primer. So let's just read it together, guys. So the reef primer is a premium uh, dip for corals, frags, uses your acclimation routine before adding new corals to your system. Uh, reef primer will clean away any zoanthid eating new branches, monopora eating new branches, acropora eating flatworms, uh, bristle worms, zoanthid eating uh, spiders, red worms, flat worms, and hair algae. Uh, rapid tissue neurosis, uh, slow tissue neurosis, and bacterial infections and more. So that is great. Like this uh, primer does practically everything you can do to uh, protect your coral and protect your main display tank. So that's one great pointer uh, with this uh, primer. She's a one shot deal and done. All right, so we just gotta wait five minutes for this coral. Just make sure you always agitate your water a little bit. If there's any little pests, you know, just latched on there, we're gonna get them to come off. So we're just gonna give it five minutes. All right, so the, the specimen's been there for about five minutes now in the reef primer. It's looking really clean. I just want to think, uh, I got this coral from Marinescape in Ottawa. There's lots of knowledge of that story. You guys should check them out, check them out online and uh, check out all the corals I have. Amazing selection of SPS and acros. That's where I pick up all mine. So I'm gonna bring you guys in close and personal. We can check out this coral together and then we're gonna rinse it off and we're gonna get it into the main display tank. All right, so there's our uh, specimen coral. It's a really nice piece. Can't wait to get it into display. I wanted to get something to get some more flow, some more flow movement in there. Give that more natural look. But as I can see here, it looks pest free. So the reef primer did its job. Plus, thanks a lot, Marinescape. It's looking good. No, uh, no pests either. It's looking great. January. All right, farm hands. So I just made it up uh, from the lab. We ended up getting that uh, coral all dipped up. It came out nice and clean. So all we have to do now is what technique are we going to use to mount this coral? So today we're going to be using the Aquascape construction putty, what I always use. This stuff works great. So what comes in it? It comes in two, two different colors. We got our purple and we got our green. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it maybe about an inch of each one. So take about, measure off about an inch of each one. So you got you have your two pieces and this is what we're gonna use to put around the, around the coral plug. So you just mix them together. And then you just, you just keep mixing it till it looks like coralline algae. Then it blends in really well. And then what I like to do is I'll just take the plug and we'll just shove it in. We'll have the imprint inside 
and you'll just put some coral glue in there and that'll help hold it in and then you can mold this in right into the rock work and just by adding that extra glue in there it really makes things solid up and stick a lot better so we just uh it's really malleable it's just like almost like play-doh as you guys can see see it's starting to change colors there now so we're good to go so we just keep molding that together all right so it's all ready to go we just got to get the coral plug i'm gonna i'm just gonna imprint it a little bit of glue get it all uh pushed around the plug put it where i want to mount it and just shove this into the rock and we're good to go all right so i got our specimen all mounted up I end up uh, putting out a top of a rock here, so it's got moderate flow. It's got enough light for its photosynthetic, so we're good to go. So I'm going to bring you guys up and close. We'll check it out. There's not going to be too much fluorescent on it if I turn the radions down, but I'm going to bring you guys up close and personal so you guys can check out this coral. All right, guys? All right, guys. So here's the specimen up close and personal. So we can try turning the blues down. I got my radion uh, reef link open here. So let's go blues, see how it looks. So as you guys can see, there's not too much uh, applier fluorescence on it. So, but it's a very beautiful specimen. I just wanted to show you guys. You guys asked, you shall receive. Very nice looking specimen. Alright farm hands, so we got to see that beautiful specimen underneath uh, the radions. It looks pretty cool. There's not too much polyfluorescence on it, so it doesn't really pop, but it still looks pretty neat under the lighting, and it's always fun to uh, play with your reef link. That's what I got for you this week. Um, you guys asked, you shall receive. You guys picked it out, and I got it. So if you guys want to see any other coral, please leave a message either on the Facebook club or on YouTube, and I'll see if I can find that coral for you. So thanks a lot guys, 22nd for uh, tuning in, 1982. Um, if you guys have a chance, uh, please tune in next week. You never know what I'm going to get, so please subscribe and hit the like button.